Hi guys, today let me show you what you need to do if your controller doesn't pop up on your phone, on your Bluetooth settings. All right, right now I'm gonna show you I have the Samsung Galaxy A10, but this process is gonna be compatible with any Samsung Galaxy A. It can be the A10, A20, A30, A40, A50, A70. You no matter what type of phone you got. So right now, if you got a type of problem, you will have to reset the Bluetooth setting. Let me show you how to do it. Right here, you gotta go to settings, general, right here. Just click on that, you're gonna go to reset, right here. And you're gonna click on reset network settings, right here. As you can see, this process will reset the Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth. Everything's gonna be reset, that means, all you gotta do is, you know, you put your password, Wi-Fi password, connect your phone again to your Wi-Fi, but the good thing about that, sometimes when you reset this option right here, your internet goes faster. And also the Bluetooth will be good to go. Right now, just click on reset settings right here. Reset. Network setting has been reset. All right, now you did everything on your phone. Now, what you're gonna do, go to your controller and you're gonna use something like this. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put this right here on that hole right here. There's a button right there inside. What you gotta do, just press that button down and hold it for like five seconds. After five seconds, release the button. Now, you're gonna press the PS4 logo right here, this one, and share. Both of them at the same time until you see that light flashing. Right, let me just hold it down, both of them. Right. Once you see this light flashing like this, now you gotta go to your Bluetooth, go to settings right here, connections, Bluetooth, turn it on. As you can see, wireless controller, that's, you know, the first one pop up, just click on that. And it's gonna be good to go, it's been connected, as you can see. It was connected without no problem. What you gotta do, just reset your Bluetooth settings and reset your controller by pressing that button. There's a button down there. You gotta use something like this to reset your controller. Now, um, after that, if you got any problem connecting your controller to your PS4, you're gonna do the same thing. Just press that button right here for like five seconds and you're gonna see that your controller is gonna be connected to your PS4 without no problem. Please, if you need any help, let me know. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe, share the video. See you next time.